Yo, what's up, everybody? Thank you for coming back again to my channel, Sam Beyond. Racism versus slavery. Let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, so one of the things that I can't do is I can't necessarily identify for all African American people or Black American people, whatever you subscribe to, on this subject matter. What I can do is talk about the differences between racism and slavery. There are differences. Now, to say that racism is, uh, to say that racism doesn't exist, um, that's a bit of a lie. But to say that slavery no longer exists, mm, that's a bit of a lie too. But what we have to do is we have to identify how these two terms plague us today. And is racism and slavery just for black people? Yes, I said that. All right. Now, let's talk about this really quick. So if we look up the definition of racism, it's just basically uh, being prejudiced or discriminative or um, to be directed against someone of a different race or a different color. Okay, so like I was saying, so to be racist is just basically to, to subscribe to your basic culture or race or a particular um, shade of color. Uh, to be in slavery is basically bondage, uh, to be forced to do something, um, to be enslaved, servitude, thrall, um, you know, slavery. All right. So now uh, what I want to really get into is the differences in understanding that uh, I can't speak for all black people on this subject matter. Um, not everyone feels that they're subject to uh, slavery or racism. This is all depending upon the mind, where you are in your psychological mindset. Not everyone has been exposed to the uh, to racism in a sense. Some people have, some people haven't. So when certain black people look at it from a perspective, it's difficult for them, for all of us to identify it on the same paradigm. You know, so uh, when you're dealing with racism, it's obvious that still exists. There are people both in the black community and the white community and the Asian community and the yeah, you get the idea. So everyone has a bit of racism in them when it comes to how they identify with their own particular culture. Now, as far as slavery, we're all have been subject black people quite quite a lot. All right. So here's the thing. Slavery today is more or less what we do every morning when we wake up for our nine to fives. You're basically giving your power over to the system that is ruling over you. If you do not want to be, uh, if you do not want to feel like you are being enslaved, then you have to deplug from the system that you're existing in. You see, you exist here in America, but you do not have to be subject to the American ways. If you are subject to the American ways and it does not work for you, you're then enslaving yourself to that particular system, okay? You're enslaving yourself to that system, but that does not mean that you're under a physical bondage, but you're more under a mental bondage, and the only person that's enslaving you is you. You have to be willing to cut loose from that system. You have to be willing to take control of what's going on around you, and with everyone that's connected to you and who you allow to be connected to you. What do I mean? If you don't want to wake up and go into slave plantations from nine to five, start your own business, build your own brand, connect with people that are willing to do this, pay your taxes, but you still have to be willing to build your own so that you will not be subject to that slave mentality or that slave system. When you're subject to the slave system, then you have to obey another man's rules, okay? This is like living on the plantation. You have to obey those rules, thus making you a form of a slave or bringing in the slave mentality or the post-traumatic slave disorder. That's what I like to call it. Um, so when you look at post-traumatic slave disorder are things that have been passed down from generation to generation to generation from past slavery events. So there are some people who are still suffering from this because their parents learn and their parents' parents learn and their parents' parents and parents and grandparents. Yeah, it keeps going. So anyway, so yes, we can all break this, this formal understanding of slave mentality, but racism and slavery are two different things. How can we fix this mess as a species? Remember, the only way to break free is to first Li mentally liberate yourself, build your brand, connect with people that's trying to do that. A lot of other cultures are doing this, but for some reason, our people are struggling with this. And like I said, a lot of it's the mindset or the thought process of our people, but we're waking up. And that's what I love about our people. We're fighters, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to wake up. But this is no slack towards any other community out there, all right? Because there's other communities that are taking advantage of the... Uh, the liberty to be able to create 
that's what we've been given, the liberty to be able to create. So if you're able to create and build your own brand, you will be able to go where you wanna go and do whatever it is you need to do on the time that you wanna do it and you're not subject to having to go to a nine to five, having to, uh, you know, uh, pay someone else's, to, you know, you're, you'll be able to handle your own, take care of your own. And now understand, granted, this comes with a responsibility, but I'm not getting into that on this video. The idea here is to get you to think about slavery and racism from a completely different perspective. Move past the paradigms of they're against me. No, you're within a system that is designed to be against anyone that's not going with that system. The only way to exist within that system is to utilize its own self against it. So you have to use the liberty that's within that system in order to change it. That's kind of what happened over time with, with uh, with some of the uh, civil rights movements, they utilize their own system within it and try to uh, liberate themselves from the inside out. It was a hard fight, but you know we were able to do things like I'm doing now. I can't say that this is a form of slavery. There's no chains around me. I'm doing this because I have the ability. I learned. You know, I'm able to create. This is me creating. I suggest everyone learn how to do some form of creation. Tap into your right brain. Be more right brain, get out of the left brain. So logical, so so egotistical, so so angry. All right. So we can liberate ourselves mentally, spiritually, emotionally by learning how to meditate and use what is against us for us. How do we use what is against us for us? By using their own system and the liberation, the uh, the liberty within their system, in order to liberate yourself from the mental slavery. Basically, you are depending on their system in order for you to survive. But if you realize that the system is only there to, to, uh, to scare you, you feel that you need their system, thus you feel enslaved to the system. But you can break away from the system by creating your own, which is what I'm trying to do right now. All right, so peace and grand love to you all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope someone got something out of this. Peace.